Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another indie movie review. Today we're going to be talking about Creep 2. Hey that rhymed. So Creep 2 follows a video artist slash YouTuber Sarah who is looking for work and agrees to film a documentary for a man in a remote house in a forest when she realizes that she's in over her head a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> just to be clear before I get started on anything, um, Joseph from Creep, the first one, has now taken on the name of his victim from the first film, Aaron. So when I'm saying Aaron, I'm still talking about Mark Duplass's character, just so nobody gets confused. So let's get right into what I liked about Creep 2. Um, I really, actually really enjoyed the first one. Um, as much as I typically dislike found footage, I think the first Creep does a really good job of being a good found footage horror movie. They do a lot of things right. So I was really, really excited for Creep 2. Um, and honestly, I think what they did in Creep 2 is the best way to make a sequel. Like, I think they did it right. They did so many things right with the story. So a lot of times, you know, with a sequel, you could end up kind of just repeating the same thing, especially when you have a new victim. So it's like a new victim, but doesn't know what the audience knows about Joseph slash, slash Aaron. Um, <coughs> they don't know what we know. So sometimes I feel like filmmakers fall into that trap of repeating the same things over again and kind of like repeating the same scares and creepy bits. And then that's boring for the audience, obviously, because we already know about the killer. We already know what happened in the first film. So but that doesn't happen here. They really do a good job of kind of like keeping with the same theme. So we have like a videographer who is hired by Aaron to film him. Um, but he really turns the tables. So <laughs> I don't like, I was thinking about like, he said like, <laughs> he sets it up early on. So for me to tell you like how it's different wouldn't necessarily be a spoiler, but I'm still not going to say anything because I feel like you kind of just have to watch it. Um, <clears throat> but I will say they totally take a different approach to it and I think they do it in the best way. Like, so it's still fresh for the returning audience and probably still super scary for anyone that maybe hasn't seen the first one and is going into Creep 2 as their first film instead of Creep 1. And of course, Mark Duplass, still super fucking scary, really creepy. <laughs> unsettling to watch but also mesmerizing like whenever he goes into one of like his crazy monologue -y, speechy type things like you just like are mesmerized by him in the scariest way it's like <laughs> you want to run away and hide but also you just can't stop listening to him and <laughs> super surprising um is the 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 dong in this movie so <laughs> there's a moment where, you know, of course, Aaron in his craziness um, is telling Sarah, like, he feels like they need to, like, <laughs> dissolve the barrier that's, like, inherent between men and women. Like, he's saying, like, basically, you know, men and women, like, always have this barrier between them that they are wondering what the other one looks like naked. So he comes out in, like, a towel while he's saying this, and you're just, like, you're preparing because you're like, okay, like, at some point, you know, he's crazy. At some point, he's going to drop the towel. Um... <laughs> And of course he does. And the camera stays on him for so long. And it's like, there's no blurredness or anything like that. It's just dong. Um, and they stay, they, like he's standing there like talking and they're like interacting for a super long time while he's like this. Um, so that was surprising for one. And then Sarah is like totally game or whatever. She's kind of like playing into it or whatever. So she agrees to also strip, you know, to break that barrier or whatever. But interestingly, instead of showing as much of Sarah as they did of Aaron, um, so Aaron's obviously like holding the camera at this point. Um, when she's like, <coughs> when she's stripping, he's like slowly zooming in on her face. So you actually don't see her vagina at all. Like by the time she takes that off, like the camera is like, 
you know, from the belly button up and then you see her tits for like two seconds and then it's like all on her face. I thought that was like a really interesting and surprising and refreshing choice. Like I would have even been okay with like equal opportunity nudity. Like if they had showed her for just as long as they did um, Mark Duplass, I would have like, I would have even been like surprised <laughs> and refreshed by that. Like, oh my gosh. Um, Cause normally the only time you really see Dong in a horror movie is when it's being like chopped off or mutilated or something like that. Um, <laughs> never while it's still attached to a body. So I was really, really surprised and it was kind of refreshing actually. I know you guys don't like it when I talk about Dongs, but I'm sorry, like it's rare. It's rare in movies in general, let alone horror movies. So <clears throat> um, moving on to the dislikes, um, there were a few moments where I just didn't understand Sarah's motives. So like I said, she's a YouTuber and she has like this web series and you know, she establishes right at the beginning that it's not doing well. She's not getting a lot of views. And that's kind of why she agrees to go along with Aaron's like crazy idea, which I'm not going to tell you cause you should just watch it and be surprised. Um, like what he reveals to her. So <laughs> she has a moment where she goes to the bathroom and she's like talking to herself in the camera and she's like, every red flag has gone up, but this is my chance to like show something really crazy and really interesting or whatever. So, you know, she's like, at this point she's like playing along and she's kind of like egging him on and asking a whole bunch of questions and acting interested and stuff. And she's going along with it. So there's like, so I understand that motive, but there's just a few things like the hot tub scene. That's all I'll say that I just, I don't understand her motive for doing what she did in the hot tub scene. I just didn't understand it. Um, yeah, I don't know. There were just a few moments like that where I just, it didn't seem to fit with like what I assumed her motive was like, <laughs> I just didn't understand. So there are a few parts for me that didn't make sense. I don't know if something I missed something or that's totally possible. Who knows? And the ending, which of course, don't worry, I'm not going to give it away. Um, was kind of a letdown. I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan. I just feel like it wasn't as powerful as the ending of the first one. I think that was my problem, but was creep Two worth watching. Yes, I think as far as sequels go, this is probably one of the better movie sequels I've seen in a long time. <laughs> it does a whole lot right, for sure. Um, that being said, I'm going to give it a rating of 3 out of 5. Definitely didn't like it as much as the first. Um, on IMDb, it has a 6.4 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes, I don't know how many people reviewed it, but it has a 100% critic score. Wow. And a 70% audience score, so make a vow what you will. Um, I guess I have the unpopular opinion here. Who knows? Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday. Um, oh, I forgot to say happy Halloween. I forgot this was going up on Tuesday. <laughs> so I have a very, very happy Halloween. Um, even though this isn't a Shocktober video, thank you for, you know, watching all my Shocktober videos and like all my normal. <laughs> channel videos too and it was like double the nightmare maven so you're all probably tired of me and nobody's gonna watch my videos in november um which i would totally understand um you need a break that's fine uh <laughs> thank you so much for watching and until next time stay strange Bye.